Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. I hope everybody had a fabulous Sunday. Okay, uh, we're going to, for right now, have to go back to two videos. I apologize. It just is what it is, guys. It's, you know there's going to be every day. All you have to do is go to my channel. They're listed video number one, video number two, and you can keep up that way, okay? But once again, there's so much to cover, so let's just get in there and get busy, shall we? Let's go. To start off with, to the person that sent me this postcard and asked me not to identify them, I want to thank you. Yes, I received your postcard. I read it, and I am going to look into all of that, okay? Second of all, to the person who sent me this handmade bedazzled tumbler and who also asked me not to say their name, thank you so much. As you can see, it has the place of honor with all my other royal items. Thirdly, to the person who sent me these stamps and who asked not to be identified, thank you and I, I pray for your healing. And for those of you who are unaware, my mother had a stamp and coin collection she had been putting together her whole life. And when she passed away, it was stolen out of, uh, well, it was stolen. So uh, I've been trying to recreate the stamp collection and people have been sending me stamps. Thank you so much. So generous. All right, let's move on now to our uh, stories for today. We're going to start off really quickly with a message to President Biden from King Charles. He sent a message uh, about the wildfires in Maui. I think it's horrible horrible and i heard i don't know if it's true rumor is those were set like how could you i think that's just terrible all right moving on all right this article i just had to touch on because everybody's going on about oh harry and megan they were evicted from the from frogmore cottage they took harry's hrh how could they be so mean to the family oh my god this is terrible you guys seem to forget that Harry and Meghan chose to step away, step down. They wanted to go off and make their own life. They resigned. They chose to leave. Why is everybody so upset that the royal family is now making all the changes that Harry and Meghan requested? They were told they would lose their security. They were told they would lose their HRH. They were told they would lose their patronages. Harry was told that he was going to lose his military appointments. I think he thought, oh, they're never going to do that to me. I'm Prince Harry. I'm Charles's son. They'll never do that. And then when they did it, everybody's screaming foul. Like, are you serious? I completely agree with according to Taz. They resigned. They quit. Every decision was theirs. Every single one. Don't cry. They even had the choice to come back. They decided not to. Their choice. So not only did they fix Harry's website page, they fixed Megan's website page. So of course her PR is coming out now. They're, they look petty because they made changes to Megan's, you know, page on the Royal Family website. You guys, this, uh, this, these people, this express is so for Harry and Meghan and so anti-monarchy. It's almost a joke, really. They're saying, well, Meghan's page only is six sentences long. Well, my goodness, she was only in the family for like two years. What do you expect it to say? That she only did 72 engagements in two years when the rest of the royal family did hundreds and hundreds, that they were constantly on private jets, that they were constantly on vacation? <laughs> What do you want them to write about her? Seriously. And now the articles are coming out saying Harry should be removed from the line of succession. Absolutely, he should. He has made it abundantly clear that he doesn't like his family. He doesn't like the UK. He said it on camera. He doesn't like Windsor. He doesn't like his brother. He's unhappy with the family. If something were to happen to the family, do you think that the UK would ever allow king harry and queen megan they would turn into a republic so fast they would get rid of the monarchy so fast so if charles wants the monarchy to survive he's gonna have to do something so yes 
He should be removed from the line of succession. That's not a petty thing. That's keeping the monarchy going, you know? And of course, the PR pieces are coming out against uh, William and Catherine. Kate uses control over Prince William. Uh-huh. And finally, before we start getting into our big story, yes, I rem you guys remember this? Megan said people should be linked, not ranked. Well, she should be happy that her website was changed. She's not ranked anymore. But you know what I got out of this? Remember Gloria Steinem? Her friend Glow, Flo, who you never hear about anymore since the staged New York car chase. You never hear about Gloria Steinem's awards, her, her stuff. You never hear anything about it anymore. Nothing. That poor woman was used and discarded. Mm. All right, moving on. Here's the big story for this video. We know that Megan did a pop walk. She cannot just step back and let Harry do Centibale. No, she has to show up and do a pop walk. And I guarantee you WME did not approve of this pop walk because instead of the cheap clothing that everybody can afford, she's in over $5,000 worth of clothing that she shouldn't have been wearing because it is warm as hell where she lives and instead she's bundled up like it's 30 degrees i'm not kidding now there is video of her walking out of the office People are saying it's a marriage counselor. It's not a marriage counselor. It's a dentist. There are the stairs. Now, here's the interesting part. As you can see from this picture, parking lot is super small. So the pap had to be right there, okay? Now she's walking back and forth in the parking lot. So here she is walking from the parking lot into the office. She's trying to make it look like she's happy. She's got her phone out. I don't know if she's checking something on it. I don't know if she's talking to somebody, but obviously the pap is close. Her security is walking way in front of her. He doesn't seem to be the least bit worried that there's a pap. Now, here she comes out of the office going the other direction. We're gonna be looking a little closer at these photos, but notice her hand is by her face. This is her signature move. She does this all the time when she wants to show something. In these pictures, she's trying to draw attention to her engagement ring, which by the way, nobody has seen on her hand in quite an extended period of time. Rumors are is that the queen asked for it back because she doesn't own it, it's a Diana diamond. We'll, we'll cover that in just a little bit. And let me add, the pictures were taken by Backgrid, um, you know, dial a -pap, because who would know that she has an appointment at the doctor's office and would be in that little parking lot just at that moment to catch her going in and out? This is a merching opportunity, and I'll, I'll explain why in just a second. So there's several things going on. Um, again, she's overdressed. Now, why do people overdress like that? Well, Believe it or not, layering on the clothes like that makes you look even thinner. And I think she's trying to make herself look super thin and emaciated because maybe she's going to pull another Diana thing. That could be. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Anyway, so the clothing she's wearing almost immediately shows up. Here's what she's wearing, which tells me that this was a pre-setup thing. Then I noticed the same thing as this Twitter user. She has her sleeve rolled up only on one side and she has her hand up. That's done intentionally because she wants you to see the disc on her wrist. It is a calming disc, okay, that you're supposed to see. And she's obviously merching and selling this product. Now, I, the only thing I don't know is how long she was in the dentist's office, but it's pretty obvious what's going on. And other Twitter users agree with me. Oh, I'm so stressed out. I've got an eating disorder, just like Diana. Yeah, you get it? Well, people are saying she's deranged because why are you bundled up in warm weather? Well, then I was like, is she really merching? Well, come to find out. Yes, she really is. How the mighty have fallen. Now, let's talk really second about this new calm, the way this stuff is supposed to work. The way it works according to the website is it turns your phone into a remote control for your brain. <laughs> You're supposed to find a place, put on your headphones, 
put on an eye mask, pick a quote unquote journey and move on. It does bio signaling to your brain. Now, she could probably use some of that. And it's supposed to help you somehow. It's supposed to, th th there's one called inspire. It's supposed to energize you, make you feel unstoppable. Focus is to get more done in less time, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this came out, which clearly shows she's being paid. This is a merching opportunity. So she has gone from being a royal duchess to selling these discs in a parking lot. Could you imagine? That just shows you how far down the rabbit hole she has fallen. I mean, I think everybody's cottoned on to her game because she's always out and about and the paps just happen to show up, even in this little tiny parking lot, even if she's in another parking lot where nobody could possibly know where she is, even if she's on a hiking trail, you know, another parking lot. I think we all know what's going on here and it's getting old, I'm telling you. I do honestly believe that something is going to happen. This is all part, yes, she's merching, but it's, look how thin I am. Look how emaciated I am. I'm so stressed. I have to wear these discs. Look at this. Look at that. I, I have a feeling there's going to be an announcement soon. I really do, you guys. It, look, we're about to cover Harry in the next video, and you're going to see how happy he is since he's not with her. Mm-hmm. And uh, I also couldn't help but notice that this pap walk took place while Harry's trying to do charity work on the other side of the world. All right. All right, everybody. That is the end of video one. Come join me at video two. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go.